What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since we talked women's best here. Fun fact, my very first women's best video ever on this channel was 2019. Their supplements. <laughs> It was actually their amino and energy, which I lived off of at the time. Fast forward to 2023, I actually forgot they had supplements. I just got reminded of it because Bay's like, Hey, your first video was their supplements. I was like, oh, no way, I forgot. Now when I think of Women's Best, I only think of their active wear, their Women's Best wear. That seemed to just blow up way past their supplements, am I right? So you guys have probably seen by now that Women's Best is launching a brand new collection called the Define Collection. Not that defined. This is featuring their first ever scrunch bum leggings and shorts. They have never done a scrunch bum before. We actually received these pieces before the launch, so thank you so much to Women's Best for sending these pieces out my way and for sponsoring today's video. You guys know the drill. If you are not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss out. We talk all things active wear on this channel every single solitary week. All of our favorite gym and athleisure brands, and best of all, we love requests. So if you'd like to see a specific brand, comment down below. If you guys are watching this video right when I post it, first of all, thank you. Second of all, these pieces are launching today. <laughs> today at exactly 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So by the time you see this video, chances are they're live on the website. Do keep in mind, I do have a support link for this launch. Now this is not a commission link and it is not a discount link either, but basically this does let Women's Best know that you guys are interested so that we can hopefully keep these videos coming. So I will have that support link down below. Let's take a look at what this collection's about first, and then we will hop into the try on of what I have here today. Okay, let's check out the brief, the Define collection. This collection is made up of five unique items. We're looking at shorts, leggings, a half zip crop tank, a racer back bra, and a halter neck bra. They are also coming in up to five colors. The Viva Magenta, that's a limited edition. They did say once they sell out of that color, it's never coming back again. I actually don't have that color. White black, smoke blue, and sapphire. Just note that when it comes to the specific colors, every single piece is coming in every single color except for white. White's only coming in the two sports bras. They added that into the mix in case you wanna mix and match. Today I have the colors black, smoke blue, and sapphire to share with you. Good news is I do have one of each piece, so that's good. I can review each individual piece in case you're interested in a specific one. Size ranges are from extra small to double XL. I also have prices for you too. They were kind enough to share that information with me, so you will see that pop up as I go through each piece. I'll have my measurements right over here for you as well as in the description box below. Just do know that I have everything in my true size small today. First things first, let's talk leggings and shorts. So when it comes to leggings, I have two colors. I have the sapphire blue and black. This entire collection has a very faint moral breakup. So let's break down this legging first. First and foremost, you do have a minimal branding on the back band, but what a heavy contrast. They didn't go tonal logos here. They went stark white. Now, you have the traditional printed on Women's Best logo. We have a three-tiered tapered waistband. Now, I feel like when it comes to the actual scrunch bum that they put on these leggings, this is something we have seen on this channel many times. I feel like every brand eventually makes their way around to creating this type of scrunch. It's very subtle, emphasizes the glutes great. You really don't notice it's not a cat hole look where you're just like, damn, look at that scrunch. It's very subtle. It is on the outside. I'm going to start differentiating between outside scrunches and inside because as you know, we've been reviewing a lot of brands that are doing the internal discrete scrunch that you don't even see from the outside. This one is definitely a noticeable, you can see it right on the outside. Now I do notice that there's a lot of glute space back here. Now if you're somebody with larger glutes, you'll be fine to fill this out. Like say if I'm comparing the Alpha Lee Amplified leggings, there's a lot more glute space back here in the women's best defined leggings. Even up top, there's a lot of upper glute space. There's nothing annoying about this scrunch. You don't feel it when you squat down low, it's not cutting right into you, flossing you in between, you know what. It's very comfortable and moves with you. Which off the bat was a good sign because I noticed that the lower quality leggings, those types of scrunches just, they dig. So I'm happy to see that this is a higher quality scrunch. If you look closely, and it's very hard to see on these darker colors, there is a very subtle contour that goes underneath the glutes and wraps around to the sides of the glutes. 
Other than the subtle contour, there really is nothing else going on except for that Marl breakup. Now for me, the length was really long. When I first put them on, it went over my heel, wrapped around my foot. I was like, oh no, are you kidding me? But then I played around with it a little bit. The material is slightly forgiving. You might bunch in some places like me where it'd be around the hips or around the knees. You might see a little bit of excessive material, but for the most part, I made it work. Moving on to the front, obviously we do not have a front seam. This is a seamless legging. We need to talk about this compression though. When wearing these leggings, I felt all of the compression in the waistband. You will see in a little bit, I'm gonna talk about the shorts. I did notice a hell of a lot more compression in the waistband in this short specifically than the leggings. So if I'm looking between these two colors, the navy blue, I'm gonna call it navy blue. I'm not gonna remember sapphire, it's navy blue in my eyes. <laughs> this navy blue had the least amount of compression out of all of the colors you're gonna see today. This is more of a moderate. If you're wondering about the actual body of the legging itself, it is not nearly as thin as say, the Alphalete Amplify. These have a bit more thickness to them, but they're very, very breathable and stretchy. In fact, this softness reminds me of their Move collection. Have you tried their leggings? I remember my video, I raved about how soft they were. That was the first thing I noticed about their Move leggings. So this is reminding me a lot of that collection, except you don't get a uni butt because you got a glute scrunch now. When it comes to these two colors, neither are 100% squat proof. You'll see in the overlap, you can still see a little bit of my black briefs underneath. Obviously the darker you go, the better. I notice with a lot of seamless leggings, they'll never be 100% squat proof. Totally passable for the gym. Would I wear them to the gym? Yes, I would. Speaking of going to the gym in these, if you're somebody who sweats a lot, <laughs> you will be a-okay in these two colors. I did not see any sweat show through with the sapphire blue and the black. It also does wick well because it's pretty breathable. So I felt my skin, it felt really dry, so it dries very nicely. When it comes to the camel toe department, everything was smooth sailing down there. I did not experience any issues. So overall thoughts, leggings true to size. In between, possibly size up if you prefer a little less compression in the waistband. If I were to size up completely in the leggings, I do think I would run the risk of having a lot more extra material around the glutes, around the front, right where the groin is. But we need to talk these shorts though, because there's a lot of differences between the leggings and shorts in terms of fit. So I have one pair of shorts in the smoke blue color. A lot of cool tones going on in here. You know me, I like my warm tones. Where's that Viva Magenta? That's the one I got my eye on now. I want my Viva Magenta. It sounds like something I would order at a tiki bar. A Viva Magenta, please. The sweat test failed miserably. You can see sweat show through this particular color immensely. On top of that, it did not take much at all for these shorts to roll right up to my groin. I mean, all I did was just bend over once to adjust my camera and they rolled right up. Do keep that in mind. They still look hella cute, all right? That is the style these days. But if you're somebody like me where if I'm wearing these to the gym and they start rolling up on me, I'm gonna be very pissed off. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, uh, no. They are only a four inch inseam. The shorter the inseam, the more likely they will roll. Now in terms of thigh cinch, a little bit, not uncomfortable, you know me, ultra sensitive. Like I said before, this color waistband feels the most compressive. You can even see in the overlap, I don't know what's going on, but as I'm moving around, it's just really pinching in. <laughs> so my overall thoughts when it comes to the shorts and the leggings is that if you're in between, size up. If I could do it all over again with these shorts, I would have just sized up to a completely larger size to begin with because I just didn't really like how compressive this band was. So if you're somebody who is like, yeah, girl, I'm with you. I don't wanna be sausaged in then you could get away with sizing up. As you can imagine, if those two leggings weren't 100% squat proof, these shorts are not either. To be honest with you, like a lot of seamless shorts and leggings, the fibers that they're made of, it just looks and appears shiny when you squat. Especially when I squat in pure daylight, it's like really shiny. It's like beaming off, glaring right into your eyes, like damn. And I really do believe that that adds to the look of the sheerness as well. Given that the body of these leggings is mostly low to moderate compression, you can't expect it to be fully cellulite friendly. I wanna make note of that. I didn't really notice much happening in the darker colors. So I do think you'll be okay in that department with those darker colors. But do keep in mind, given the material, you can't expect it to be smoothing you out. It's just not that type of material. 
time to talk some sports bras. Now we have two to choose from in this collection. We have the Racerback and the Halter Bra. Let's start with the Racerback. This one's a little more straightforward, a bit more simple because you don't have any adjustments. This is a very thin strap racer back, overall low support. You do have removable bra pads and a rib band. Now this one is three tier, just like the waistband on the leggings and shorts. I do feel a bit of grab right around my rib cage where this lays. I do think that adds to the feeling of compression that the shorts give. The fact that I'm feeling a little compression right underneath my busts and around my waist, I think that's what's sausaging me in, specifically in this color. I do believe that this bra has pretty decent coverage. It doesn't have any side boob, nothing's messing around, flopping around on you, but it's definitely not something I'm jumping in. Very true to size. If you're in between, me personally, I would consider sizing up because I wouldn't want this band here to be any tighter than it already is. Now for my favorite bra of them all, the halter. I think you already knew that. I am a halter top whore. <laughs> <laughs> the less straps, the more back action, the better. I wanna be bare back always, especially on back day. Now with this specific bra, you have two straps. One that's going around your neck, that's actually the halter part, and another one that goes right around that creates a little more support. You can easily remove this one strap because it's placed with swan hooks. So you can move it around, adjust it, take it off completely and be just backless like I like to be. If you do that, you will lose a little bit of support, but who the freak cares? You know, I don't really jump around a lot with my workouts. I used to, but I'm over that now. Now, both of these straps are adjustable and you do have removable bra pads. This ribbing underneath the underbust is smaller than the racer back. All right, so you do have a little bit less coverage. You also have less coverage with the cleavage. So the halter actually has a V-cut neckline, whereas the racer back just had a little scoop. Very true to size, but if you're in between, again, if you want less compression right underneath the busts, then you might wanna size up. If you have much smaller breasts than me, then and only then would I suggest sizing down if in between. Last but not least, let's talk about the half zip crop tank. I'm wearing it right now. This piece, super straightforward. So it is a half zip, very body fit. It does have a mock collar, so if you zip it all the way up, It'll hug you right around the neck, not overly tight. It's very comfortable. I actually really like that it doesn't pinch right under the arms. It does come close, all right? It is very form-fitted, so it will look like it's right up against, but it's so stretchy and it's not tight right here. These seams that hold the piece together are not digging under my underarms. Very nice to add over a set. You can make it a full matching set. It looks great with the bra underneath. Full back coverage, full front coverage if you zip it up as well. So for those who prefer a little more coverage or you want something to just throw over on your way out of the gym, this is great. Do keep in mind there's no pattern in this whatsoever. You don't have the option to insert either. If you're in between, you could get away with sizing up just to avoid any cinching around the underarms. I know that's what I would do. I see a trend with this collection. Each piece is on the verge of being just a little too tight in certain areas, but it's just right. Like it, if it was any tighter in certain areas, I'd have to fully size up. <laughs> it just like skid under the door there like Indiana Jones, grabbing his hat at the last second. So please keep that in mind if you're considering getting these pieces or any of these pieces, really take note of the sizing. All right, if we have similar measurements, do keep that in mind. You might wanna size up if you don't like so much grab in certain places. All right guys, so what are our thoughts on the new Women's Best Defined collection? It's very exciting to see Women's Best evolving in this direction. It was a matter of time. I think it was really a matter of time, especially because, I mean, look around you. We live in a world of scrunch bomb leggings. <laughs> You'd be hard pressed to enter into a bodybuilding gym and not see some gals wearing scrunch bumps. If you have any questions at all, as always, please comment down below. I really appreciate you guys being here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. I hope you found it helpful. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video.